tier list tier list tier six huh so this is ranked tier list ranked tier list oh boy oh boy oh boy okay let's see let's see what do i have here fabuki ign destroyers in general they're so torpedo reliant i mean these are still good but they're so torpedo reliant maybe because it's the dd maybe it's a b tier bc i don't know kind of struggles Generally speaking, gunboats are more consistent because you can just shoot other other DDs. You can kill them with your guns. And remember how good Monahan's guns were? I should probably open my ship tools to remember all what they all did. But pretty sure Monahan was pretty good. Let's see. It has no DPM actually. It has zero DPM. Monahan is not very good on that then. Oh, was this the one that had the high tier torps? Yeah, it had the Benson 9.2s. Yikes. Never mind, that's not that good. Monahan is pretty poor then. It has no damage. It's f fully torpedo boat more than anything. Dallas. Very difficult to play light cruiser. Well, park behind an island and farm. You don't really bring much utility. Maybe B tier cruiser. It has a fair bit of damage. And it's hard to sit that up. This is a hands thing. Pepsi Cola. Against other tier 6 cruisers you do really well. But you struggle against BBs if they can aim at all. The maps are very small as well. Mm, maybe C. I mean, it's. I don't know. They're, they're both like kind of. Actually, I think both of them, honestly. I don't really think they're. Arizona is just D tier. New Mexico is D tier. I don't know why you'd bring it. West Virginia has overmatch. It's already much, much better. That's B tier. Right? We, we don't do CVs, but if you want CVs, then. Uh, Burn, Levenhart, Ruyo. Are, are all S tier carriers, but I can't be honest with them. Genevni, it's a gunboat. It can be effective. It's kind of a hard sell though. You don't have any smoke or anything, especially at this tier, you don't have heals, you don't really have the AP performance. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Pepsi, it's a lot of random damage. It's not like that Dallas where you can get away with dumb shit. I don't know where I'd put Genevni. I don't think it's that good, actually. But Yonni is pretty damn strong. That's B tier for sure. Got really good long range HE farmer. Makarov, well, it's a Nuremberg. Mm. It's got good damage output. It's got good damage output, to be fair. It's once again, it's a long range ship, which is not that good for ranked. But I think it's Makarov is pretty decent just because of the damage output. That thing pumps out a lot of damage. Like when it comes to cruiser DPM, I think those two are pretty much very high up there. Dallas is like the highest, which is why I kind of would want to move it higher, maybe. Maybe just for the sheer DPM, Dallas should be here. For the sheer DPM, because Dallas can farm. But so can Makarov. Makarov can farm as well. They do a lot of damage. It just blows up really easily. Hatsu is worse than Fubuki. It has... Didn't that, didn't that thing have like zero DPM, the Hatsu? Yes. Actually, they both have zero DPM. Hatsu was the wonky turrets. Honestly, they're both pretty damn bad. Which one was the one with the worst torpedoes? That was Hatsu, wasn't it? Hatsu had the tragic torps. Yeah, Hatsu goes here and Fubuki there. Uh, Molotov? It's so it's such a sim big citadel. I mean, even destroyers citadel, this thing. Um, Ismail is really strong. Don't get Citadel, it has no superstructure. If you don't get Broadside, you don't get Citadel. It has no superstructure, it's got fast DCP, it's really quick. That's an A tier for sure. Novorossisk, is that the... That's just shitty Julius Cesare, isn't it? I'm not sure where I'd put this thing. I don't know, is it maybe C tier? 
Russian Julio, isn't it? Did it have the Cesaris improved dispersion? I don't remember. Did it have improved dispersion of that thing? Mm. No, standard. Oh, wow. Okay, then it's like, it's a battleship, I guess. It might even be D tier, honestly. I think it's at least stealthier and faster than these, so we give it C tier. Uh, Gaed. Gaed, 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 Gaed. What Hydra did Gaed have? Gaed is very strong at these tiers, because a lot of potatoes get their, get their asses torfed constantly. So it's actually quite effective. Mm. Doesn't have much HE DPM. Has decent AP DPM. 4 km Hydro. That's pretty bad. It's got pretty bad... Hmm. Torpedo DPM isn't exactly impressive. 8 km Torps. Did it have a lot of health? Oh yeah, it has a fair bit of health, but... I don't know. Maybe... What was the concealment? I don't remember Gaeta's concealment. Oh, it's really bad. 7-3. That's really bad. That's like gun worse than gunboat. Let's see for the concealment alone. What was K. Schoenberg? What did K. Schoenberg do? Sith Lord, thank you for 25. I don't remember. That's a fairly new one. T61, though, we is instant S tier. That thing is hilariously busted for a uh, tier 6 destroyer. Uh, oh, it has... Uh, BC dispersion. Okay, well then it deserves to be C. Then it deserves to be C. It still doesn't overmatch. It's a DD with 150 millimeter guns, has no smoke or hydro. Interesting. Doesn't that do any damage? No? Any AP damage? Some AP damage. Mm, yikes. 150s. Uh, can it sit? It can sit at a cruiser, I guess. But you rely on getting cruiser games in order to shine. 7.5 came torps only, and your concealment is 7.3, which is same as Gaeta. Supposed to be a low tier Elbing. I mean, that's not really why you want the DD in in at these tiers, though. You're gonna open everything. You're gonna open all enemy DDs and not do much to them. I think just... I'm expecting it to not perform. No improved AP pen? Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna throw it here. Grafspe, if you're gonna bring a cruiser, it's hard to argue with the Grafspe. It's... In competent hands, you shit on so many things in that thing. It's very, very strong. It's very strong for a cruiser. Uh, Nuremberg, that's up here with Makarov. Just sucks at close range, sucks when you get shot at, but the damage output is really filthy and you get improved pen on it, so... It's it's pretty easy sell. It's pretty easy sell. Mm. What do you have? Bayern? Bayern is actually pretty damn good. Bayern overmatches, but unlike a lot of these overmatching ships, Bayern also has a shit ton of armor. And it's also decently fast. I think Bayern is pretty strong, BB. I'm gonna throw it up. I think I've generally the big Bayern's biggest issue is the guns are inaccurate. That's the biggest issue. But man. It it doesn't take much damage. If I remember really Bayern armor was something completely bonkers. Let me check. Mm. Bayern was the choice in tier 6 clan battles? I'm not surprised, because it doesn't die. Like you can't you can't be Citadel. And the armor is like like first of all the Citadel is here, you're never gonna hit that. Second of all, the armor is like massive icebreaker. Can't be overmatched. Tons of armor basically everywhere. Everything is armored on it. And it has overmatching guns. I think it was decently fast. Yeah, 26.3 without a captain. You add in brisk. And I think it's with speed flank. Yeah, with speed flank. There's not a whole lot of downsides to this thing despite the gunnery being eh. Yeah, no. That that thing I think is an easy beat here. Shinonom! Shinonom is really strong. I don't think it's like I don't think I'm gonna throw it in in S tier, but 
probably a strong A tier, honestly. Shinonoma's guns are nice, but more importantly, the torpedo is the torpedoes are so good on it. I think that's a strong A, Shinonoma. Mackinson. I actually liked Mackinson quite a bit. I remember liking Mackinson, but how good is Mackinson? Me liking it doesn't mean it's that good. I remember this thing does get... It's more squishier than the Bayern, but the guns were much more consistent. It might be like A as well, or even a strong B. I think it might be a strong B. I actually like that thing quite a lot. Prince Eitel Friedrich. That thing was shit, wasn't it? Yeah, it doesn't have our match. Friedrich was pretty shit. I don't remember a whole lot of good about Friedrich. Was that the thing that blew up very easily? Where's Friedrich inside there? Oh yeah, let's see. No, he's overmatchable. No. Mm -hmm. What's the gun? Was like 350s. Yeah, I remember not liking this thing at all. As compared to Mechanism. I guess about Mechanism speed that I really like. Mechanism is and concealment. Mechanism is so fast and stealthy. Compared to Friedrich. My Friedrich concealment is so much worse. Mackensen is 12.8 without concealment on the captain. Jesus. This thing plus brisk is gonna be zipping. Holy. No wonder I like Mackensen. Yeah, no. Uh, Prince Eitel Friedrich maybe see it here, I think. Mm. Uh, Gallant. Gallant is a gunboat. Generally, gunboats tend to have better carrier power. Because you can gun down the enemy DDs. You don't have to rely on your team. But Gallant doesn't have that much damage output. What's a concealment on Gallant? Stealthy as hell. Damn it, Stealthy. 6.6. .6. I think, I don't know. Hatsu, I think Hatsu is actually C, not a D. Because Hatsu Stealth is the best. Best Stealth is always an advantage. Best Stealth is always a big advantage. I think it deserves to be here with the Fubuki. Mm. Let me look at the... What did Gallant has consumable ones? 6-6 six, six conceal, man. That is impressive, though. You got 6k in base. 37.8, very fast. Handled like a god. 8k in torps, 61 knots. Decent torpedoes. The gunpowder is the weakness. But a whole lot of impressive gunpowder here. Very low health pool. 12k is very low health pool. What can you slot on it? You do get smoke. Speed. Oh, this is an old build. We're not running prop. Still, it's very it's fast, it handles really well, it's extremely stealthy. I feel like if you're good in this ship, you can you can cause you can be quite effective. And the big issue is the survivability on it. I think it'll be a B tier. Icarus. Icarus was pretty okay, wasn't it? It's not bad. It's not good in randoms. But I thought it was... What was it? Why was it? Did I think it was pretty okay? Was it the smoke? It's stealthy, first of all. It's really stealthy. Is it just a better Gallant? Same stealth, a bit slower, a slight bit slower. Actually, he's running speed flag. Or oh, we're running speed flag on both. It's a slight bit slower. 12.1, very slightly more health. Very identical gunnery. Oh, slower torpedoes. That's what I didn't like about it. 50. Well, it's not that big. Oh, but the range is really bad. 7k, is that upgraded? Yeah, that's upgraded torps. Only 7 came torpedoes. But, burst, smoke, and personal hydro. That is pretty goddamn strong. That is pretty goddamn strong. The torpedoes are going to be much harder to utilize because of the 7 cam range. That's really brutal. It's hard to get as much value out of it. But on the other hand, short burst smoke is giga useful. I think, I think Icarus is going to be a strong B as well with the Gallant. 
Gallon smoke values are pretty brutal. Yeah, but generally speaking, because of the concealment and the speed, you're not going to be sitting in smokes too much. You're just going to be looking for torpedo utility uh, opportunities. Devonshire. UK heavy cruisers. I remember them, all of them being dog shit until you get Drake. Do I remember incorrectly? Maybe I remember incorrectly. Devonshire. The same DPM as the Huang He. Wow, that is uh, not that impressive. Uh, decent detection. Very slow. Holy shit, 31.3 base. Yikes, it's slow. Yikes, it's slow. You're gonna get caught up by BBs. That's not good. Um, hmm. DPM was, yeah, not that. AP and HE DPM, not exactly impressive. What does the Devonshire do well? Does it do anything well? Did you have, did you have Super Hill at this tier yet? I don't have it here. I have to check the picture. Standard heal. That's not a lot of cruises have standard heal at this tier. It does give you a fair bit of sustain. 143 healing. Is that with the full thing? I think you can heal a fair bit then. You got a fair bit of healing potential. Add in superintendent on top of this. It's gonna be quite sustainable, but what's the armor like? Eesh. Please don't be a stepped citadel. As long as it's not a stepped citadel, just a flat box. Okay, it's just a box. That's pretty bad, but maybe not the end. It's pretty bad, to be honest. It's pretty fucking bad. It's a big dumb box, man. Mm -hmm. Does Super 11 unique icon? Yes, it's got like two, two healths on it. Like, you see how this thing has one of these? The Super Hill has another smaller one. Wait, I can show you. Let's see. Well, I can just do like this. You see that? There's another smaller one on top. That's Super Hill. But yeah, no. Devonshire doesn't seem that impressive. I think it's going to be like a C tier. It's got a heal, so at least it won't instantly be blown out of water. Lander is easy S tier. One of the best cruisers easily. Dido, though. Is Dido identical to Lander? No. Let's see, AP DPM. Well, where does... Lander has nutty DPM. Well, not nutty, but it's consistent. Where the hell is Dido? There. Oh, it's got a bit more. It's got H as well. Short smoke, no hydro. They did get a small nerf to the Lander, but it's probably still up here, because Lander has torpedoes, smoke, concealment, hydro can smash, farm everything, like, Lander is just so good. Okay, Dido. Do I have Dido? No. I remember, I think, I think I never got it, because, like, the reviews were so bad for it. What is it supposed to be good at? The DPM is okay. Consumables? See, Dido. Short smoke, no hydro, defensive AA, just short smoke. Ah, what's the torps like? 8 cam torps, decent. What about concealment? W worse than Leander, slightly. Much better power weight distribution, though. It has much more horsepower to per ton, so probably accelerates quite well. Speed-wise... Quite slow, 32.3, but yeah. I mean, it can't be that bad, though, if it's got short smoke on a cruiser. I'm going to put it into B tier. With that conceal, and uh, with the fact that you have smoke and HE, 
I feel like you can always do something with smoke and HE. I think it'll be a B tier. I have a hard time believing it can be that bad. I mean, the firing items are probably shit. It's a different short smoke. Okay, what kind of different short smoke? Normally, short smokes are a good thing. Let's see, Dido short smoke here. Wait, action time 15, smoke dispersion time 35. 80 second cooldown. Wait, what the fuck? That's not that good at all. Why is the smoke so bad? Can I, I'm moving it to see it just good. Why is the smoke so bad? Why is the smoke so bad? That's like a garbage short smoke. Huh, interesting. Okay, London. I don't like, I remember not liking London at all. It's a free premium. Ah, makes sense, makes sense. London. Okay. London had some of the worst damage output in the game. I remember that. It also has absolutely obnoxiously bad range. Did I have it? I remember it being... Yeah, here it is, London. It was a big dumb box. Or matchable Citadel box. The range is a tragedy. 13.4. Concealment is pretty good. Well, okay. Torps are only 7, they're YOLO Torps. Consum consumables? A normal heal. Whoa. Have they broke? Wait. What game have broken this? Interesting. Wait, what the fuck? How much does it heal? Hello? Hydra and smoke. That's pretty good. What's the smoke front penalty? 6.8, not that bad. What the fuck? Where's my smoke? What? Okay, interesting. I can't tell how much it heals. Still, smoke heal Hydra is a nice combo. I guess the big problem is the reload is dog shit. 15 second reload, but... I mean, that's pretty okay, though. Smoke heal Hydro is a nice combo. And or matching cruiser, which means you can smash light cruisers really hard. Hmm. It's big though, it's a big dumb box for sure. Hmm. The DPM is really bad though. DPM is really bad. It's like half of Nuremberg or Dallas DPM. I guess, but the consumables gives, it makes me think maybe B tier for a cruiser. Keep in mind though that this is um, each ship ranked against their own class. So if you want to play a BB, or if you want to play a DD, T61 is the best one. If you want to play a cruiser, these are the best ones. But generally speaking, if you want to win ranked games, Spam destroyers. That's it. Aoba? How well does Aoba hold up? I remember it being like feeling like a Furutaka downgrade. I had very few guns. It's pretty fast. I don't know how well it holds up. Hmm. Remember the gun? It's being pretty fun, but. Torp angles are really bad. You shouldn't be going for torps. Yeah, unless you're bad in DDs. Then don't... If you're bad in DDs, don't play DDs. Or if, like, your win rate is below 50%, don't play DDs. Your win rate is going to drop to 40. Because DDs have so much carry power, and if a bad player plays them, you, you just get worse win rate, so... That's a fair point. Hmm... Yo, but I haven't played it in ages. What's the conceal on it? When did I last play it? Ayo, but where's Ayo? Ayo, Eleven point seven. This thing is pretty goddamn fast. Oh, we're running rather old build then. And four came Hydra. Torp angles were pretty shit, but they smash. Mm. 
six guns. Eleven second reload, but six guns. Sheesh. I think it may be strong C, maybe B. I can't I can decide which one though. I think it might be a strong C, honestly. Maybe B. Honestly, the problem is the lack of sustain. Check the armor. And remember, Ioba has really good deck armor. Yeah, 48. It's got really good deck armor, which is nice. The problem is in ranked, a lot of the fights are very close range, which means it's kind of hard to utilize the deck armor. Nose is still overmatchable though, so it doesn't like change too much. And the Citadel is huge if you brought that. Mm. And I remember it didn't really have the firing angles to abuse the deck armor as much as you'd think. Like it's not a Nevsky where you sit so far back and you, you're so angled you can abuse the deck armor. It doesn't work like that. Renown repul Repulse. Honestly, I'd put it in S tier. I fucking love Repulse. But I wouldn't say it's particularly easy BB to play. But I think it's fantastic. I, I love it. Like, it's fun to play and it's giga strong. Um, Renown? I don't think I played Renown. Did I play Renown? I'm going to think Renown is probably A tier. Repulse is so fast and stealthy. It's brutal to deal with. If Renown is even close to Repulse, then it's A tier. I haven't played it, but I think... Where's Repulse with Torps? Yeah, then it's probably A tier anyway. Queen Elizabeth. Yikes, that thing has fallen off hard. It's like Bayern with stronger HE but no armor. Maybe C tier, honestly. Like, compared to other BBs. Strong AP. How do you fall off when you were never up? I mean, the HE t tended to be pretty okay, but... I think maybe, was, compared to other BBs, it's really hard for me to sell the Queen Elizabeth. I'll probably throw it here, because like, if you want to ex fun have fun with strong guns, you'd play Warspite. you play Warspite if you have fun with... I just realized Pensa C. Why? Because Pensa is really good against cruisers, but not really good against much else. I think, yeah, Queen Elizabeth, I think, had the worst turret traverse, basically, in the game. Is that still a thing? Is that still a thing, the Queen Elizabeth turret traverse? Or did they finally buff it? Shit, I don't, I haven't, I don't have it anymore. Let me buy it. Queen Elizabeth. Fifty-four point five. Oh shit, they buffed it. Did they? Looks like it. Yeah, they buffed it. It used to be 72 seconds. Big buff, big buff. It used to be 72 seconds. Still garbage, of course, but it's not as that terrible. War Spite, strong B. Yeah, I can't, with good faith, put it in A, because despite War Spite's fantastic guns, um, War Spite has no fucking armor. It eats damage from everything. It's And it's slow as shit. So... Like, there's nothing like crawling along in a, in a war spite and having some, some shit start farming you and then you can disengage because you're so goddamn slow. God forbid with CVs in the game, it has no AA either and you get plane spotted and farmed to shit. That's just suffering, man. War spite is stuff. I, I love war spite. Don't get me wrong. I got a million games in war spite. Like, uh, how many games do I have in war spite? A million? Let's see. How many games do I have? War spite. Tier 6. Where's tier 6? War spite. Tier 6. Mm, that's repulse. It's Virginia. Shouldn't know the dunk. There's Warspot. 137 games in Warspot. I love this ship. It's one of my favorite ships. I even have a piece of the deck armor of the Warspot. I have a, a, a teak uh, ashtray that is made from the deck armor of the Warspot. Like, I love this ship. But, 
I, I can't put it in, in good faith. I can't put it in A or S tier with the armor it has and the speed it has. Yeah, I mean, I do. do let's see. Let's see. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't find it. I mean, I can show it. I think I posted it on my Insta like ages, ages back. How far? How long ago was this, Jen? It was probably pretty long ago. Orla, Orla sent it, sent it for me. My favorite Italian Orla. Let's see if I can find it. it. Was like a couple of years back. Surely I will find it. Copium. Shit, where is it? Cool beans. I can't find it because I'm blind. Didn't I throw it up on Insta? No? I didn't really? What the fuck? Where is it? Okay, I don't remember where it is then. Hmm. A little distracted, yep. Anyway, uh, whatever. Let's not get too distracted. Worst part. Worst part's biggest issue is 24.7 with speed flag, which is pretty damn move. But more importantly, this is very brutal. Every part of the ship is basically unmatchable, and every part of it is HE farmable. You love farming worst bite in a cruiser. Because every every HE volley hits something that you pen. Like you have to struggle to hit parts that don't pen. You're just like you're chunking it for six, seven K volley and stuff like. The guns are great and really fun, and that's why it, it, it becomes B on the guns alone, but uh, the armor is just non-existent. It just, it takes so much damage, Simon. Great guns, great guns. Uh, let's see what else. Egle. Egle is pretty damn strong. Egle is pretty damn strong. Egle is no joke. Egle is f like against other tier sixes, third traverse is an issue on it. But the thing is, like naughty health and good DPM. You need to be. You need to have hands to play it. Like you need to have. You need to have good good awareness of where enemies are gonna come from. Because if you get caught unawares with your turrets pointed the wrong way, you're just gonna get blown out of the water. But uh, Igle is. One of the tankiest destroyers in the tier. What, what was the health? Yeah, 17,000 health. That's with before HP perk. You slap HP perk on this thing and you got about 19k? More. Like, this thing is tanky as shit. You, you got 20k health. Yeah, 20k health with HP perk. Oh, damn. Wait, no, how much was it? It was 350 per tier. Okay, no, not that much. A bit more than 19. Still, uh, it's stupidly tanky. It's got YOLO torps that hit like an absolute truck. 18.4k a pop. Um, you're really fast. You're 37.8 plus 20% speed boost. Yeah, giga fast. And unlike most of the other French destroyers, this thing actually has smoke. Egle is really good. The big weaknesses of Egle is lack of concealment and the turret traverse is really abysmal. But besides that, it does great DPM, has great torps, it's really fast, it's super tanky. Honestly, strong A tier. It, do it doesn't quite match up to the carry power of the T61. T61 can kind of do everything, including cap contest. Egle is not that good at cap contesting. Um, I think really strong A tier. If it wasn't with T61 being another step up, I'd probably throw it into S. But Egle is great. Egle is a great ship. Gepard. Hmm. Gepard. The only ship tankier. The only ship tankier than the Egle. Hmm. Also, doesn't have quite Egle's DPM though. It's kind of lacking on the DPM. But did Egle have Reload Booster? Or sorry, did Gepard have Reload Booster? Surely not. A tier 6 Reload Booster? Did it really have Reload? Because Reload Booster dumpsters potatoes. 
They don't know how to deal with that shit. Um, good point. Oh shit, it does have a reload booster. Yeah, that, and it's got much better turret first than the Egla. And it's tankier. And it's just as fast. Damn, that's... that's. F now, this thing shits on destroyers. And this thing dumpsters enemy destroyers. Hmm. It doesn't have smoke, though. Which means... Rip but man, is it might even be S tier because of the reload boost. Like, if you're good at managing your reload boost, you have such an overwhelming DPM advantage during it, and you just shit on enemy DDs. How bad are the Torps? Are they much worse than Eglis? Ah, uh, they they're a lot worse. From 18.4 to 14.8, 68 knots. Huh. 68 knots. What was Eglis? 57. They're slower, though. 68 is really fast. It's also a strong YOLO ship, then. Damn. I'm not sure if I want to get part in S or in, in A. I think it might I think it's gonna be better than Egle simply because of the reload booster. The reload booster is such a strong advantage. Like cause a Gepard can kill an Egle because of that. Despite the Egle having the DPM advantage, when you pop that reload booster, it's it slides out. I think it's an S tier destroyer. Smoke is strong at tier 6 though, that's that's fair. Smoke is really powerful at tier 6, because there's no radars, and more importantly, there's carriers. And carrier spotting can really ruin your day, and an Egle can run into a cap and smoke up and secure it against the carrier, whereas if a Gepard tries to camp against the carrier, he's just going to get plane spotted and reset. So... That's, that's, uh, I don't know, maybe I still put it in, in a strong A. I think I put it in a strong A. Because once again, T61 can do everything. It can cap contest, it can gun down enemy DDs with Hydro, uh, it can torpedo, real insane torpedo DPM. T61 does basically everything. Both of these guys have weaknesses, things they can't do. So I think that's S tier. Being able to kind of do everything. The grass. The grass. Mm. That thing was pretty fast. That's like a long range farmer, isn't it? You had 9 came torps, 16.2 came range. It didn't have some equipment. Yeah, it had speed. 15% speed, oh man, it's hella fast, and Hydro. It's already pretty damn fast. Igraz is a farmer. It's gonna be a hands-requiring farmer. I think uh, Galicinier is still better, because Galicinier, uh, despite being slower, I think it had reload? Yeah, it had reload booster. Which allows you to really just surprise dumpster someone giga quickly. 9 second reload versus 8.1. Both are good at different things, though. The grass is objectively much faster. The problem with being... It's very hard to utilize your speed and your range on tier 6 ranked maps. Like, these are things that are strengths in randoms. Because you got a big map. You can a lot, a lot of time to sit in the back and farm. A lot of time to kite and disengage. But in tier 6 ranked, you don't really have the same time to farm and take your time because the games are decided so quickly and the maps are so much more compact so it's really hard for me to like a lot of these long range HE spammers I might be overrating them like a lot of them like Budjoni and uh, Budjoni Makarov Nuremberg these are all really good in randoms because they can sit far back and farm over a long time but in ranked it's hard to make that work because the games are decided too quickly. Hmm. Hmm. best turret angle. I think I'm gonna put both of them into. I don't know if I want to be C or B. I'm worried that these HE spammers might not be that effective. 
You cannot farm if your team just suicides. That's exactly it. I might be overrating these farmers, honestly. Because the problem with... The problem with playing... This is why I don't like playing Budyodny, Makarov, Nurnberg, De Graas, Kalisinier, long-range farmers. The reason I don't like playing them is because you are putting the faith of the entire early game into your teammates. You're not going to have an impact in the first five minutes. You're only going to start having an impact maybe by the 10-minute mark when you're managed to start burning down a battleship or something. And that's why I don't like it, because you're taking the outcome of the first 10 minutes out of your own hands and putting your faith in your teammates, which is a really poor way of advancing in ranked. Isn't it the same for all cruisers and BBs to some degree? Not necessarily. Cruisers that can play more aggressive, like Dallas, can push up right next to, next to a cap, an island, and farm over the island with massive DPM. Battleships can instantly dev strike someone and turn the game around. But these farming ships, they need time. They need time. Slapping DDs is important. It is. This problem is trying to push in with some of the ships to farm might be difficult. I'm gonna put them in B, but I might regret. I might. I might come to regret that choice. Uh, I think they're gonna be weak Bs, but I might regret that choice. Generally, the cruisers are much harder to play than the others in ranked because you don't have heal, so your health is much more valuable. Gokaze, I played it in randoms. Why would you play it? I don't know. Why would you play it? I'm trying to figure out why you would play it. I played one game in it. And honestly, fucking suffering. Dunkirk? It's really bad. Like, so people, Dunkirk only really works if you get a perfect comp against you, which involves uh, a bunch of battleships that can't ever match you, and for some reason don't understand the load HE, and if cruisers decide to not farm you when you're sitting nose in for some reason. That's when Dunkirk is grave. But when you run into repulses and byrns and stuff like that, and the cruisers decide to farm you, you just die instantly. Because you can be overmatched. So... Dunkirk is maybe like C tier. Normandy also, oh god, Normandy. Normandy at least is armor, unlike Dunkirk. But on the flip side, it doesn't do any damage, so. Avier, it's Italian and DD, so I'm instantly inclined to put it into D tier. But did it actually do anything? Let's not be harsh. It has some sap DPM. With, oh, it had a terrible range. Oh, yeah, it had a tragic range. Oh, no. And bad conceal, despite having no range. Doesn't have any health? Not really, 14. Doesn't have a Torps? 10 came Torps that do... 56 not torpedoes. Wait, um, did I read that wrong? What? 56 not Surely I'm fucking hallucinating. What? Sure. 8.6k. 56 not torpedoes. 8k range. Gun range 6.3. At least you have smoke and sap. That alone maybe saves it from being... Wait, you can upgrade that. So they hit for 10k now. Oh shit, 10k damage. 10k torps for 10k damage. Okay, maybe we put this thing in C tier. Set plus smoke can be pretty good. But that, that means you need someone to spot for you when you're engaging in set plus smoke. That's the worst thing. That's the worst thing. You need someone to spot. For. That's always the biggest nightmare with them. If you press the button, like the worst thing that... Yeah. Mmm. Thank you. It is. 
Slash for X, thank you for the 15. Uh, it's a Herman Miller Aeron. Yeah, uh, the point, the biggest issue you have, like the biggest brutal thing with Avier is, or Italian deities in general, is when you push up and there's an enemy deity and you have a teammate with you who's not even shooting and you're like, okay, kill spot, you smoke up and start shooting and then your teammate slows down and smokes. And now you've lost vision of this guy, despite him not having done anything. And the problem with these exhaust smokes is you can't outrun them and you can't fucking turn them off. I wish they would give us a way to turn it off so you could turn off your smoke, but you can't. So you're just running around in your smoke while he's just sitting there and slowly turning away and disengaging. And it is the most tilting experience in the world because all you needed for your team was your teammate to just do nothing and you could have killed him. But they always smoke. DDs have like one button on their keyboard, two, W and smoke. And they press both all the time. And they hold both down all the time. And it's it's just frustrating. You can't farm anything with that thing either, which is a problem. You can really only hope to ambush DDs, but then you don't have gun range to farm anything. It's, it's a weak C. Leone? Did they ever buff it since I made my Leona vid? Because that thing was really tragic. Like, giga tragic. Does it have anything going for it? It wasn't it really slow. Wasn't it really slow? Like, bafflingly slow for a destroyer. Where's Leona? Wait. 34 knot base speed. A what? 54... Wait, what, the, what, what am I running on? Oh, we were... <laughs> I think we were memeing. This is orbital... Or, orbital Leona. Oh, yeah, the Turtiverse is terrible as well. Slow ass 12 cam tarps. Leona vid best ever. Yeah, that's a legendary video. What is good about this thing? Very slow. Not a whole lot of damage. Torps are so slow. And do absolutely no damage. Third, well, 13 gun. 8 guns? And does that mean it's got a big HE salvo? It has a big HE salvo, to be fair. It's got a hard hitting HE salvo. Oh yeah, it's dual guns. So it's 8 gun broadside. Hmm. But the arcs were something dreadful. That, I remember that. That's something we memed about in our, in our, in our video. Yeah, let me check. Let me check. Like, let me, let's let me add something. Something we ever know. Super floaty. Let's add you. Super floaty. Farragut arcs. There we go. Then we add Italy. Leon. Yeah. Okay. So. Worse arcs than Farragut. And much worse pen, of course, but... Hmm. They improved the shell arcs, but not by much. Well, you can get 6.3 conceal at least. And you have a really hard to think broadside, so you can like surprise sm sla uh, smash a DD and go dark. So I think we'll put it, put it in C tier. It's still a DD. Duka is horrendous. Duca is horrendous. Duca used to be okay, but that thing just suffers. I think it was the IFHE change or something that just brutalized the Duca. What did Duca do well now? It was pretty fast, I think. Yeah, it's a fast destroyer. The AP is dreadful. Hmm.
Shellbellus. is really brutal. Didn't have any equipment. Hydra. Yeah, no, I, I remember you, you just tickled chips with it because the guns are 152s with only 25mm pen. Yeah. No, Duca is. Why would you bring the Duca? What would be your purpose? I'm trying to think, what, what would you do well in it? And I can't think of anything. If you want to farm, there's others. If you want to do anything except farm, it's a bad choice. Terrible. Trento. Trento might be like a strong C, maybe. I think the problem was you didn't you didn't get to smoke at Trento yet, did you? Were they really so troll that they get, didn't give you smoke at Trento? Yeah, no wait, you did get you got two smokes at Trento, but they're only twenty five seconds. They're only twenty five seconds. You got fifteen second reload. Terrible conceal. Terrible conceal. 14.7 can base conceal. Holy shit. Oh, sorry, 14.1. Decent range, though. Decent health. How's the armor? E Yikes. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, it's got a citadel bigger than some ships. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Wow. That's a fucking floating dev strike. Interesting. All over matchable as well. Hmm. How's the DPM on it? 155 set. That's pretty good. Sap is pretty... 203 Sap isn't that bad at this tier. Because you overmatch light cruisers. Which means you can shoot Sap at light cruisers and smash them. Which is actually a pretty strong feature. Mm. And it does have the smoke. It's decently fast. It just spotted from the moon though. And has no armor. And maybe a weak B. Andrea Dorillo. Why would you play the Andrea do you? Don't think like Dallas sport 16mm play thing? I think so, but doesn't Leander sport 13? Let's see where we went, Leander? Yeah, Leander is like your match, everything about Leander. But, because that's like a super light. But, and I think Perf was... Yeah, Perf already has 16, so Perf doesn't get overmatched. Interesting. Anyway, where was it? Why do you play Andrea de Rio? Mm. That's, a, I feel like, is a pretty good question. Why would you play Andrea de Rio? Let's see, Italy. Andrea de Rio. Andrea Doria, something, I don't know, whatever. Maybe. Okay, what do you have, Andrea? What's your armor? Yeah, we're matchable. Your guns are 320s. 320s. That's an old. What do you overmatch? Well, they don't overmatch. Well, it doesn't matter much. You still overmatch 21. I guess that's all that matters. Pretty fast. Decent conceal. Unhittable Citadel, is it? No. Very much hittable Citadel. Hmm. Because you're grinding the line. Yeah, that's probably the biggest reason. Does it have any DPM? Fair bit of DPM if you can land it. Julius Cesar? Yeah, it's like a Julius Cesar at tier 6. 
but it has battleship dispersion, doesn't it? It doesn't have BC. Pretty sure it's got battleship dispersion. Andrea Doria, there it is. Yeah, vertical dispersion 99 meters, horizontal dispersion 184 meters. It's battleship dispersion. Oh yeah, Mackensen had battle cruiser dispersion. That's why I really like Mackensen. But yeah, Andrea Doria has battleship dispersion with 1.6 sigma. That's a fucking yikes. That's... At least it's faster than Arizona and New Mexico, so I give it weak seat here. Like, because these things don't have gunpowder, but they also don't move. So that's like the worst. This thing at least is pretty fast. Mm, Anshan? Anshan was pretty decent. Was it was Fushun Fushun was a bitter Anshan, wasn't it? Fushun was a bitter Anshan. Where's my Fushun Anshan? There's Anshan. I think Anshan is hella fast, 38 knots. 6.3 concealed with full build. Smoke. 8 came torps, 16 of torps. And I think the gun ballistics were pretty nice on the Anshan. The turret reverse is the big issue. It turns like shit. Turret reverse is shit. It's 30 seconds. That was the biggest, biggest weakness. What about Fushun? Same issue. Better concealed, though. Yeah, better conceal on this thing. Same turret reverse issue. Just objectively better conceal. 12 health, 12k health. How much does this thing? 14.3. Okay, this thing has much more health. Hmm. The speed was very nice. I remember that being a thing. That I, f I think I remember playing this thing. I made a vid back in the day where I called... When they released the Fushun, I called it the Bitter Anshan. I called it the Bitter Anshan when they released the, the, the Fushun from the tech tree. Helpful, kind of identical. Yeah, it's just stealthier. 6.8, which is a big deal because you can get it down to, what, 6.2? 6.1 something? Oh, this one has deep water torps though. Deep water torps, so you can't hit DDs. Whereas Anshan can hit DDs, which is certainly an advantage. I think they're both pretty equal. They're like, you can play them as gunboats tor or torpedo boats. They're so goddamn fast. Both works, and they're still fit enough that both works. I think they might be like B tier? Anshan and Fushun? The problem really is the turret reverse. Like, they're either... No, I still think they're better, though. It just... People are going to struggle with it. AP is good. I remember the AP being quite good as well. I remember being able to sit at our cruisers, in fact, uh, close range with it. Let's see. Pan American. Pan Asian there. Destroyer. Fusion. Let's see. 130mm Fusion guns. Yeah, six came away, 70 millimeters pen. How much armor do cruisers at this tier have? They don't have too much, do they? Like the real squishies have. Uh, well, this thing has a hundred. Molotov is, of course, ridiculously thinly played then. 70. Yeah, you can sit that on some of the lights. You can sit that on somewhat consistently. Within five six kilometers, it falls off pretty quickly. Then, hmm. Now, but the big the big issue is the turret reverse is very brutal to deal with in the current year. In the current year, the turret reverse is really brutal to deal with. I'm gonna make I'm gonna put them in strong C, I think, because the turret reverse is a fucking nightmare. Like, if you guys haven't experienced thirty second turret reverse, it's like you, you have you have to slot the module and you have to slot the captain perk to make up for it, but it's oof. Remember you playing Grammy with the same issue? Yeah, yeah. No, I remember. I I played it. I hadn't played Grammy in ages, and I remember the Grammy being really really good. And then I played it, and it was like, wow, this is not how I remember it. This, 
the big the big reason for the big reason why it feels worse now than it felt back then is because they changed the way the captain perk works back in the day the captain perk gave you a fixed bonus uh which meant the worse it was the bigger the improvement and they changed it to a percentage base where um the better it is the bigger the improvement but if you got really bad turtleverse it gives you very small improvement them changing that was changing the captain perk really fucked with those boats that was what changed those who's so who's so is fucking strong probably a tier honestly it's the only battleship that doesn't overmatch that i'll put in in a tier fuso has fuso is not only does it is it really hard to like do damage to because the armor is so good fuso fuso's he dpm is absolutely fucking filthy people underestimate like fuso is spotted from the moon but it's hard to do damage to because the armor is really cracked where's my fuso the dispersion trolls you are absolutely but like the armor is really good on the ship and it's got it's only got this thing as superstructure so at long range you're shattering a ton on the sh on the armor and uh but Fuso's HE is the filthiness, because you got 12 guns. That it's only 25% fire chance, but like this HE Alpha, it's IGN HE Alpha with a 28 second base reload. Like, well, I, I can show you, I can show you, I can show you. Like, you, you need to see Fuso HE DPM to understand uh, one second. Okay, uh, H, main battery. There you go. That's Fuso HEDP. Compared to second best. Queen Elizabeth, Royal Navy HE. Like, no one comes close. It's fucking brutal. I like it. It's, it's an insane amount of DPM. It's an insane amount of DPM from a battleship. Um, but... Fuso's issues are also, they exist. <laughs> One of the worst things is concealment. You got the 18.3 base conceal, which means even if you build concealment expert, your concealment is 16 kilometers. So yeah, you will never be undetected during a game. You're going to be perma spotted from start to finish. Um, it's IGN dispersion, which can be especially frustrating if you're shooting something close range, because I've the Sigma is 1.5. Um, so 1.5 Sigma combined with IGN dispersion is a fucking nightmare. Uh, the turrets move like, uh, they're glued. 56.3 second turret verse. Yeah, so that's also not fun. So the ship has too many weaknesses to be put into S tier, as someone suggested. Uh, close range, it's very hard to sit that out because it's, it's got like a turtle back. You can see it here. That's the turtle back. At close range, it's hard to Citadel. At long range, it's almost consistent to Citadel. It's quite easy at long range. But the closer you get, the harder it is to Citadel. So, a lot of strengths. A tier for sure, but it doesn't belong in S. It can't pop up undetected on a flank like a repulse can and overmatch a cruiser and disappear. Uh, it can't do things like that. It's... It's still... Worst thing about Fuso is it leads to Amagi. Amagi isn't that bad. It just... Materiate matchmaking is really bad. Huang He. Huang He, is, Huang he has a really bad reputation. But I don't think it's actually that bad. Because... I think it had, like the problem with is the DPM. I think the concealment was. Don't I have that one? The concealment was like. Yeah, 9.3 concealed without a captain. What can you get it down to? 8.4? I think 8.4 concealed. Which is really insane for a cruiser like some dds have 7.5 concealer you're 8.3 uh you can crawl into a bunch of bunch of smokes a lot of battleships tend to open because they aim here or they, the shells hit here the nose is actually gigantic the citadel is only in the back of the ship it's back here so it's an easy citadel if you know where it is but it will troll people it tends to do that this camo looks fucking great by the way just saying this is one of the original lantern camos that actually looks gorgeous 
and it's cruiser yeah it's cruiser uh it handles almost like a dd with the turning circle and it's also quite fast the big issue is of course the dpm you only have six six guns on a seven second reload so the dpm is very very lethal but considering you oftentimes use this ship to ambush destroyers and sit in smokes and farm and the fact that you have your own crawling smoke that you can use to close the distance it's pretty nice for camo hydra as well it's it's like it's bad for randoms because you end up up tiered a lot but against your own tier 6 fighters it's it's very strong for objective play it's it's not going to be good for farming damage it's not going to be good for much else but it's really good at just popping smoke and hydro and crawling into a cap ambushing a bunch of dds and crawling out that's what it's really good at um you have to have some level of hands to play it of course you can switch hydro for torpedo reload but uh, don't do that don't do that you you have so few of them man trust me 4k hydro is a lot more valuable considering what you're fighting you're fighting dds so huang he is probably a very strong b tier probably a very strong b tier it kind of fucking sucks if you get pushed by something. Like if uh, something like a Graf Spec comes running at you, you you're just you're just suffering, uh, and uh, it can't really farm well. It has no range to farm. It's very much a fight for objective kind of ship, but it has a fair bit of weakness. I remember what was considered a bad meme. It's still a bad meme if you're playing random battles. It's so bad in randoms. It is so bad. If you get up tiered, it is so bad. But in ranked, because it's smaller scale and it's more objective focused, Huang He is actually pretty okay. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong at what it does. Um, Rahmat. Rahmat. Good DPM. Really good DPM. Decent health. The range is the downfall. Is it like a smoke Atlanta? What's the torp range? Do we have the right material now? Better Dido? Yeah, okay. Fast a lot of guns. A lot of duck guns. What's the base pen? 19. Oof, that's pretty brutal. But I think this had fast smoke, which is... That's pretty good smoke, yeah. That's not bad at all. What's the hell? 23.6. 133. Ah, you get pin imp You get pin upgrade when you spec the guns. Okay, that's, imp that's important. You go from 19 to 22 when you upgrade guns. Important upgrade. Then IFG suddenly pushes you past 26. That's good. Um, Nampa Funk and Torps. Slow as shit. Good conceal though. Pretty good conceal. Hmm. Very much a defensive cruiser. Enemy it's situational. Enemy needs to push into you. Enemy needs to come to you. Generally you want to support your DDs in it behind islands in a smoke and a cap. Easy to torp you out though. Kind of easy probably to push into it, despite the deep water torps. Smoke is always good on a cruiser, especially in a high DPM cruiser. Because smoke is very valuable. Hmm. Could Rahmat be even be a weak B just because of the damage output? It has a lot of damage output. Like, it really... It, it's almost got as much as Dallas, which is impressive. Because Dallas need, relies on positioning to use, use the damage. Hmm. I think I'm going to put it in a B tier. I think it's a B tier ship. Anything Citadel's it? Yeah, but I mean, this of course implies you know how to play the cruisers. Is it skipping all the carriers? Okay, well, let's see. Hilariously broken, hilariously broken, hilariously broken. Uh, pretty fucking broken, pretty fucking broken, pretty fucking broken. I don't know why you're playing Ranger, but it's a carrier, so it's still broken. There you go. Fuck series. Uh, let's see. Vesteros. 
Mm. Oh, this thing as well. I forgot this thing. Also hilariously broken, the Ruyo. A lot of dumbasses throw away their planes in it, but if you know how to play it, it's also hilariously broken. Let's see. Uh, Vistaros. Okay, why would you play Vistaros? Is it a, it's kind of like Scorn all over again, isn't it? You keep seeing them in ranked, and they're so fucking useless. Because okay, so Vistaros. Terrible DPM. Terrible, some of the worst torpedo DPM in the entire game. Uh, some of the lowest H people in the game. One of the slowest destroyers in the game. Actually, no, 38. It's actually one of the fastest destroyers. Sorry, 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 my bad. So it has no health, no gun power, no torpedo power, but it's fast. What else can it do? What else can Vesteros do? Quick, die quickly, I guess. Torp reload is fine. No, but that's, that's you're just being fooled. That's what people go. That, that's what people do in this fucking uh, European DDs. They go like, okay, uh, my torp reload is really quick. It's 60 seconds. So uh, uh, these torpedoes are actually really good. This is a really good ship to bring to rank. And then they ignore the fact that they do no fucking damage. They do no fucking damage. They're so useless. And fu I see, I saw Scorners in Silver all the time. And they did fucking nothing except die. And now people are going to probably spam Vesteros in ranked again. Because, oh, I reload so fast. And then it does no fucking damage. Like, they, they don't do anything. I, okay, look, 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 look. Look, look. Health. Vesteros, 12,100. 600 more than the lowest health destroyer at tier 6. Main battery DPM. Vesteros, 76,000. Just to put it in perspective, these other torpedo boats are literally fucking here. Like, you have no gun power whatsoever. And most importantly, you're a torpedo boat. So surely, because you have fast re reloading torps, you're going to do a lot of torpedo damage. No! The only one who has worse torps than you is the Italian destroyer. And we don't talk about the Italian destroyers because they're a fucking tragedy. This is your torpedo DPM. Yes, your torps reload very, very quickly, but it doesn't matter much when your damage is an absolute tragedy. I, I hate people bringing these fucking things into rank. I, they always on my team. There's always a Skåne or there's always a Vesteros. And they don't do any damage with their guns. They don't do any damage with their torpedoes. And because they have no idea how to position in a destroyer that doesn't have a smoke to get out of jail for free, they always get themselves killed running in there somewhere, picking a gunfight, enemy DD smokes up, our DD dies. It happens every fucking time. Every fucking time. Because they don't know how to play an open water non-smoke destroyer that doesn't have French saturation or incredible range or incredible DPM or anything. Like, it just doesn't do anything. These things are terrible. And I'm going to put it into fucking D tier. Just so less people bring this dumb shit into my team. So like, holy. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop with this line. And like, no, don't. And I don't think it even has any AA at this tier yet either. I'm pretty sure it didn't even have any AA. Like, that that would... Like, if you bring Ista Jutland... Or Holland, you bring it for the AA as well. But I'm pretty sure, like, the Vesteros, wasn't it something tragic? Here we go. No flak, 77... No way, can't be that low. Is it really that low? Upgrade it all. I'm sorry, a solid 100 DPS. A solid 100 DPS. Wow, that's incredible. Wow. You'll shoot down a plane tomorrow if you start today. Let's go. Like, no. That line gets really good at tier 9. Before that, stop bringing it to rank. Thank you. Mysore. Why was Mysore good? What was Mysore? What was Mysore? I have the Mysore. Oh, okay. I like the nine guns. Slow. Is this a mini mini feed you kind of think? Hello? I want to see your concealment. 10.7, not too bad. Smoke. Crawling smoke. Four camera hydro. Heal. No torps. 
30.6k health. You build HP perk for sure with the heal and everything. Huh. This seems really good. What? I've forgotten this ship even existed. Well, what's the AP DPM? My sword. It's not that impressive. HEDPM is literally worse than Huang He's HEDPM because the reload is so long. It's 166, Huang He has 169. So Leander is 175 though, so it's it's only 9k less than Leander. AP only. No HE at all. Hmm. Still, it's very stealthy. 14k range. Smoke heal Hydra, crawling smoke in particular, which is going to catch a lot of people off guard. What's her smoke fire penalty? Five. Jesus, 5km. That's really good. Since when does Mysore have HE? What? What are you talking about? It doesn't. Secondaries have HE. Main guns are AP. Hmm. Mysore seems pretty strong. I don't remember playing it. What's the armor like? Light cruiser, huh? 16 millimeter, not 13 though. It's not super light. Interesting. Hmm. Always nobody has it. Yeah, the reload is atrocious, but it still ends up being almost the end of reload. I guess almost no one has it, but like, even that, that's probably a good thing, because that's going to catch people off guard. You can, oh, and it even has flak on the AA. Two flak. Huh. 31.5 is pretty slow, but it turns nicely. Damn. Okay, this, like... I'm probably going to throw this straight into A tier, just on the, on the stats a lot. I don't see how it could be anything less. Does it have pen angles? Let me see. AP shells. Ricochet angles. Yeah, it has Lander's pen angles. And it has Lander's short fuse and threshold. Holy shit. The shell velocity is... Faster than Lander's. Both the initial speed is faster and the impact speed. And the flight time is slower. And the drag coefficient is less than Lander's. Oh, because it shoots a heavier shell. It shoots a 57 kilo shell, whereas Lander shoots a 51 kilo shell. That's why all the stats are better. Damn, what the fuck? Uh, the drag coefficient is uh, lower, not slower, lower, which means less drag. Hmm. That's... We, we're gonna have to test that, but I'm gonna preliminary... I'm gonna throw it into a strong A. We're gonna have to test that this, this ranked season, chat. But preliminary, just based on all those values? I'm gonna throw it into stepped citadel. No, it doesn't have stepped citadel. It has one, one flat. It's actually a piece of the armor. I thought it was stepped citadel as well first, because it looked like this. But this is just bait. This isn't citadel. This is the Citadel, which is also great. Not having that shit is great, because that, that eats it. So that's pretty fucking great, man. Thank you for a constructive comment, Evo. Hmm. Less drag equals more speed. Indeed. How do you get my sword? I don't remember how you got it. I don't remember how I've got them. But I'm glad I have it. We need to try it. Uh, let me add it to my primary ship so I remember it. Fiji has a 13mm bow, doesn't it? This thing has a 16. Damn. And a 19 here. Which is actually really nice. Because... Uh, 16 gets overmatched by 223, whereas 19 you need 271. And there's nothing really in that gap though, so it doesn't matter much. It mostly matters against heavy cruisers. 
Hmm. Damn, okay. Uh, we need to try. I didn't remember that. Kick Dune. What does Kick Dune do? It's a Dutch cruiser. They don't have heels. It has a trolley citadel. I don't think you have the... Have, do you have the airstrike at tier 6? I don't think you do. It doesn't have any torps. You have one airstrike. A million different plates, but... I remember it was pretty hard to sit that on. Very trolley. Like, it eats orphans, but if you shoot HE or SAP on it, it just explodes. Uh, 32k health. Decent conceal. Continuous AA, but it's only mid-range. One airstrike. E that's not very impressive. Six bombs. It's an HE farmer. Hmm. What's a DPM? If you're an HE farmer, what matters is what DPM do you have? Ooh, less DPM than the Egle. What? Yeah, he's actually less DPM than the Egle. Wow. 124k. Egle is 125. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be hard now. It's gonna be hard now. Uh, I mean, it's it's okay, but why would you bring a cruiser with no smoke, no utility? Like, if you're gonna bring a farmer, why would you bring an inferior farmer? Like, if the if the only role you have is farming, then you need to compare it to other farmers. And if it's even worse than them, why are you bringing it? There's no point. Perf! Oh, the hello, Mr. Estier. Hello, scroll up, please. Thank you. Hello, Perf. Perth um, is a stealthy hydro smoke monster that shits on DDs and farms cruisers, basically. It's the Huang He, but better, yeah. Um, 9.8 concealed before you spec concealment expert. Very stealthy. Handles great. It's got torpedoes on both sides that hit quite hard. Uh, eight guns, which gives it pretty decent DPM. It has 4 km Hydro. It's got the crawling smoke that lasts an age, especially if you spec this. Oh yeah, it had spotter plane as well, which offsets the issue with the range. And also means that you can spot for yourself. I think Huang He couldn't do that, which is a big minus. When Huang He smokes up, it has no way of spotting, but Perf can pop spotter plane and smoke. And, and it can spot for itself while it's crawling around and farming. Uh, Perf is just really fucking strong. Perf, like, we, we got a shit ton of XP on this ship, because, uh, yeah, we played Perf a lot. Perf is very, very, very good. No real... It, it can farm, it can cap contest, it can park behind islands, it can push DDs. It's got 27k health, which isn't bad either, considering it's a light cruiser. Um... Was a good clan battle pick, pick for sure. Like, yeah, S tier, easy S tier. I don't remember what the Euro was, champ. What was the Euro? What the shit is a Euro? Whoa! Hold it. Okay, it's a snake. Okay, I didn't remember it was a snake. Interesting. Glad to see it. Basically a gallon. Oh. Mm. It can torps. Good conceal. No health. Yeah, it looks exactly like a gallon. Gallant copy bust. Next to the gallon. Canarius. Heavy cruiser. Uh do I have the Canarius? I got the Canaris, didn't I? Where is Canarias? Hello? I don't? Then I get the Canaris. Maybe I for forgot to pick it up. I think maybe I got it on Russia, not here. Mm, let's see. 
Mm. AP only. 16 gamer. 12 second reload. I think I fought the Canarias and dumpstered it. I might have gone down to Dino instead. Let's see, Spanish. Uh, where's the Spanish? There's no tech train. Canarias armor. Can I look at it somewhere? Hello? It's probably available for dubs. No? Oh. Well. Gotta look at the Russian server. Well, I'm, I'll take your word for it then. I'm looking at the DPM and it looks dog. I'll take your word for it. If it's an AP only ship and it has the third of the AP DPM of a Nuremberg, I'm not too hyped. Well, okay, less than half, sorry, not the third. Improved AP angles, AP only. Okay. But why would you bring it over Lander then? Or my sword? Because it's heavy. I fought it. And it hasn't impressed me. It has burst fire. I'll put it in the weak C. With a question mark. Ise. Uh, Ise is pretty strong. He requires a bit of hands though. Because you have to, you like, a good player will play it semi-aggressively, spot for himself, and shit on people at the same time with the guns. Issei is pretty good. The problem is, of course, the average battleship player thinks they're a carrier, so they sit in spawn and send planes and do nothing, and then they push in once their team is dead and they get their match and killed. Um, bad turret angles, yeah, and it's pretty squishy, but Issei is... He says, I remember, has pretty good, a lot of things, besides the armor, really. Mm, 2.0 Sigma, he says, well, and good range, insane range. Mm, there's the Isa. The armor is the issue, of course, it's quite squishy, but, and this thing is easily farmable, but we're still talking... Four guns, 30 second reload, and I think the torps. It dropped four, eight torps, didn't it? Eight torps. They don't do too much damage, but it's still eight torps. And uh, see, all those torps tend to make potatoes angle as well. Like, normally eating the torps is like you eat the torps on your torpedo belt and you eat maybe 8k damage or whatever. Uh, but a lot of people will turn for the torps and give broadside, and then you can shoot them, or your team can shoot them. So, hmm, you say it's probably like, it's a good ship, it's just criminally misplayed, kind of like Kearsarge, it's probably like an A tier ship. It can also spot, which is, especially if they're non-carrier again. Mutsu? Mutsu or matches. Four tens. Yeah, Storms. Doesn't have too much armor going for it though. And I think the concealment was pretty bad. But it's fast. It's got torps and the guns are kind of smashy. The shells are, I think, World War One. I. I think it was World War One shells or something. Like they were really bad. But the Ur match is no joke. The Ormatch is no joke on this thing. I remember the Mutsu being pretty good, pretty good. Horrible pen, yeah, but you don't really care. You're, you're not going to be getting sits on BBs, but you're going to Ormatch everything and do damage. Mm. I think Mutsu is like easily strong B. Easily. There's not much difference between 406 and uh, 410 and 380 yet at this tier because everyone has 26 millimeter armor so as long as you get 380 or match it Farragut Farragut is really fucking good Farragut is criminally misplayed but Farragut is really fucking good 
it is the highest DPM destroyer in at tier 6, like by a wide margin. Fergus issues is it has no health, and people don't understand the build HP perk on it because people are fucking imbeciles. Um, and they don't, they try to play it with torpedoes and stuff, but the main selling point is five guns on a four second reload. It's like it just pumps out damage. It pumps out damage like no one's business. Issues are concealment is bad, health pull is really bad. So you have to build HP perk and you have to play it with a brain. So, but provided you can do those things, you got long American smokes as well, and the damage output is just really crap. Like you, you do you do more damage than many many cruisers. I think I'll put it into A tier, just for that. I would say not an easy. Well, like I would say all many of these deities that are here require a lot more brain to actually get to A, whereas T sixty one is S tier just because it's T sixty one. Like you you can amputate the hand and T sixty one is still S tier. If you amputate the hand and try to play these other ships, you're probably gonna fucking suffer and die. So, T61 is just broken, which is really stupid, but it is what it is.